Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about research and how long research normally takes. Because a common theme, a common question that's going around right now as far as vaccination goes, is the research that went into it and whether or not it was rushed. So we're going to kind of uh, catalog it. You know, a lot of... Uh, a lot of the vaccines that we rely on today, the initial research began like in the 1960s. So relying on something that's a little bit more recent has raised eyebrows. So let's take a look at it. Okay, emergency authorization from the FDA occurred in 2020, okay? And it's the new technology, the mRNA technology that has most people questioning it. The first clinical trials of uh, lipid nanoparticles delivering mRNA vaccines was in 2015. So it's not quite as new as everybody's making it out to be. Um, and it's also worth noting that prior to that, in 2013, there was a clinical trial of an mRNA vaccine for rabies. And before then, the first mRNA vaccines were tested for mice in 1993, and liposome delivery of MRA vaccines, mRNA vaccines, first occurred in 1990, also to mice. Lab-made mRNA, uh, that first occurred in 1984. The uh, liposome delivery of mRNA to cells first occurred in 1978. Liposomes use, being used to deliver vaccines that first occurred in 1974. Liposomes being used to deliver drugs first occurred in 1971. The first lab-produced proteins from isolated mRNA was in 1969, and mRNA was discovered in 1961. This isn't actually new technology. It's been around for a really, really long time. The, the basis of this research it started before the Cuban Missile Crisis. We are talking about an event that is so old, it occurred before an event that when it's depicted in movies today, they put it in black and white. It's not really new technology. It's the application of research that has been around a very, very long time. I don't know that this is a good basis for hesitancy. Um, sometimes looking back can help you look forward a little bit. That link to everything that's gone on in the past typically ends up being pretty helpful. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.